What's up guys, Trail here, better known as Budget Bill, and I know this is a little bit different for this channel, but I wanted to touch on a topic that is very important to me, and it should be important to most of you as well. But then again, it's sort of related to this channel because of the travel, and it could potentially be uh, from a perspective of using and getting credit cards to get free points so that you can travel for free. So maybe it is related to this channel after all. <laughs> but in all seriousness, it's going to be a unique video as I can't really say the word on YouTube because your videos will be demonetized. Not that I have to worry about that because my videos are not monetized anyway. So I will refrain from saying the word throughout this video. Y'all know the word. Y'all know the word. The one that's similar to the famous beer, but references to the epidemic that is actually affecting the entire world right now. Yes, that one right there. So roll with me if you will, but let's go ahead and roll right into the intro. So as the world continuously becomes under attack with this new epidemic that is going around, we must be smart and proactive and protect ourselves. And I figured I would speak on it as more and more people are affected each day as we see on the news. And we expect to see more and more people affected on the news in the coming weeks as they recently received the new test kits in the U.S. for testing this particular epidemic. And they are now starting to test a lot of people in the United States. I believe they were acquiring about one million test kits, even though I think they haven't received that total amount yet. But... They are going to be testing a lot of people. So obviously we will have more people show up around the U.S. and different states now in the coming weeks of actually being tested positive. So we must prepare ourselves. Some of the schools across the country are temporarily shutting down. The courthouses are actually postponing their cases for up to 14 days. And the entire country of Italy has shut down completely. They've actually shut down their schools for a total of two weeks. Last week and this week coming up. I believe 80,000 students in Seattle have actually been homebound and actually learning online for last week and this week. And then New York City just announced today that they are under a state of emergency as 14 or so have people in New York City have actually been affected. So it's really going to get worse before it gets better. Even locally here in Texas, companies like Chase and a few others have actually urged their employees to start working from home to help reduce the risk of infecting more people. Even concerts or conventions and local events are having much less turnout over the last few weeks. So they're actually either canceling them or moving them to different venues because of the limited amount of people that are actually buying tickets and plan on attending these events. So it's becoming a really big deal. But what should you do in the meantime? Should you panic or should you be fearful? Those are some questions that we must ask ourselves. Well, Budget Bill has come up with about 10 ways to protect yourself and your family as this strain continues to affect the people around the world. So number one, if you are sick or you know someone that's sick, just stay home, especially now that they're urging people 65 and older should stay at home because most of the people that have been affected by this have been at least 65 years or older. So we know you love your family members and we know you want to spend time with them. But if you are sick, just postpone that. Save the opportunity of infecting others and to protect yourself as well. It's not that important to where you have to risk leaving the house, either getting infected or infecting someone else. So just stay at home and relax and just wait till this is all over or at least until you get well. Number two, wash your hands frequently. I know you guys hate to wash your hands and you only think that you need to wash your hands when you go to the restroom, but you need to wash your hands much often. And actually, you need to be washing your hands for at least 20 to 30 seconds using an alcohol-based uh, liquid soap or the hand sanitizer that's 60% or above alcohol in it. You need to wash your hands more thoroughly. And even when you're washing your hands, you need to make sure that you get the soap underneath your nails because that's where a lot of bacteria grows. So you want to make sure that you scrub your hands and get it underneath your fingernails for cleaning of those as well. And also, if you are a nail biter, then that's another reason you should wash your hands more frequently and cut your nails because we have a tendency of putting them in our mouths all the time. So that's going to be number two. Number three, 
no handshaking. We are not allowed to handshake each other anymore, which is the common way of greeting people when you see them. Uh, I know this is going to be different for a lot of people because we've been doing this for so many years and decades, but right now, we can't shake hands anymore. So now you can either do the fist bump or you can do the elbow bump. Or as we've seen on Facebook and Instagram, you can do the handshake using your feet. So you can kick each other to tap your feet with each other. That way we're not shaking each other's hands anymore because we carry a lot of our germs through our hands. We touch the handrails, we touch different things when we go out and then we handshake each other and then some people are just not sanitary and they're not washing their hands so you don't know where their hands have been at no more handshaking okay and then number four do not touch your face i know me myself i have this issue bad because throughout the day while i'm at work or at home i'm always touching my face i'm always touching something it's like a fidgety thing and you know i i, I i'm very bad at it so that's another way for us to prevent the spread of this is by not touching our face because if we touch the handrail or we shake someone's hands we end up touching our face or we put our fingers in our mouth we bite our nails we have to scratch our eye we have to sneeze all of that stuff so try to stop from touching your face with your hands unless you have just recently washed your hands so that's going to be number four number five do not use your fingers or your fingertips to activate different functions <laughs> now what i mean by this is you get on the elevator you have to push level or floor number three you know you're touching this you're touching doorknobs you're touching the rails as i mentioned earlier you want to use something else try to use your knuckles try to use your elbow to open doors uh, you know, push down on the door to open it whatever way. Or let's say you have a napkin in your hand. Use that napkin to touch things and to activate those different functions versus your fingers. Because what we do is we might push that number three on the elevator and then we end up putting that in our mouth. And that's how this constantly just spreads so much more. Even during the flu season, which I know this is sort of related to this, but look, the flu has been around for years, but it's the same way that we all get infected with the flu virus. This is very normal. It's our behavior that we have, but we have to change our behavior to stop the spread of this particular epidemic. Number six, use disinfectant wipes. You know, sometimes you go to the grocery stores and now by the, uh, the push carts, they have those disinfectant wipes. Yes, start using those or better yet, carry your own because sometimes different places might not have them and you want to wipe down something. Wiping is the only way of getting rid of certain bacteria on certain things. You know, your dresser or when you're at work, your desk, your keyboard, all those types of things. Wiping it down, not just spraying Lysol everywhere, but wiping it down. And one key tip is when you're wiping something, don't go back and forth because you're pretty much just spreading the germs left to right. I know I'm guilty of this as well, but the proper way is to wipe it one time and to make sure you wipe it the right way. Number seven, keep a bottle of sanitizer available. You should actually keep a bottle in each one of your cars. You should keep it in your backpack that you might take to work. You should keep it in your diaper bag if you have children. You should keep a bottle at your front door. You should keep a bottle everywhere just in case. Especially you should keep one in your car because you go to the gas pump and pump your gas what do you do after that? Do you have wipes that you wipe your hands with? And think about it, how many times people are touching that gas pump per hour? That number is insane. And actually I looked it up, gas pumps are actually 11,000 times more contaminated than your toilet seat. And which one would you rather eat off of? Ew! That's disgusting. I actually keep in my truck, I keep a bottle of sanitizer and I also keep wipes. You know, I might waste some Something or I might touch something I need to clean my hands while I'm out things like that so number eight if you have to sneeze or cough use some form of tissue to actually do it in they actually have disposable tissues you want to do it in those if you have the availability of it which is why I say you should keep those things on you a little pack of tissues you can buy an eight pack from the dollar store it cost you one dollar but if you are in a situation in which you don't have that tissue or some form of cloth then you want to either cough in your elbow 
elbow and that's on the inner elbow not the outer elbow because that might be kind of hard either coughing or sneezing in your elbow and actually wait one or two seconds because when you sneeze and actually mist of spray comes out of your nose so you want to make sure that gets in your actual elbow or your cough also another way to do that if you don't have the tissue in your hands is to pull out your shirt and cough inside the inside of your shirt that way you don't spray out and infect others in case you have this or you have flu symptoms or any other type of symptoms and if we could all do this together less people every year would get sick and be infected with different types of things that are going around we have to be mindful of ourselves as well as others and then be mindful when you do cough or sneeze in your clothes or your shirt or whatever you have on that can actually be carried with your clothing for up to a full week so you want to make sure that you actually wash your clothes so that you can get rid of that if you had a sneezing habit throughout the day and you use your shirt or your clothes you want to make sure that you wash that and they actually have some disinfectant type of washing detergent that you could actually use if you want to go a step further and then just these simple things which is number nine is that you want to drink lots of water and lots of fluid so you don't end up getting dehydrated you want to take care of your body and put lots of fluids in them so you could release a lot of fluids this actually helps out with your health and as well as your membranes you know making your mucous membranes stronger so that you're not more prone to being infected by different things that are going Going around and this falls in line with number 10 which is basically just eating well and just feeding your immune system you know there's different types of foods out there that actually support your immune system and you want to eat those types of foods especially during this time of season that we're in right now to protect yourself and to, you know to protect your family you know feeding yourself those will make your immune system stronger so if you do get sick you can fight it off or you don't get sick as much so such as the flu typically puts people down or put people in the hospital but if your immune system is strong that flu might only affect you for one day so you definitely want to eat well eat the right foods feed your body and drink lots of fluids and just protect yourself and live a healthier life so those right there are my top 10 things of how to protect yourself these are some things that we all need to be mindful right now while this thing is going and traveling through the different countries and so forth we want to protect ourselves as well as protect others let's stop the spread let's do what we have to do as individuals and do our part so that we can actually get this thing contained so that we can go back to some type of normalcy of living our lives where the kids can go back to school us as adults we can go back to work we can go back and uh and go to different events and different concerts and we can travel across the world and feel safe once again let's get back to that point let's do our part if you like the content in this video hey give us a like as it definitely helps out with the channel i really appreciate you guys coming by and watching this video i really appreciate it if you haven't subscribed to the channel this is a great way to go ahead and click on the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you can be notified every time i upload new content and i hope to see you on the next video peace